so guys in today's video i will be showing you how to, you can install the android 7.0 nougat um, this is the beta version this is not the official i mean it is official but it's still in beta so you can just test it out on your galaxy s so i have an s7 edge same follows for the s7 but i am going to show you first of all that i am running the stock no uh, marshmallow over here just go to software info as you can see 6.0.1 and my security patch is october 1 that doesn't matter because this will wipe your whole device so follow the link in the description as per your uh, device like the galaxy s7 or the s7 edge so mine is s7 edge i will show you for mine go to this link scroll down and this will only work if you have a 935 f and fd and uh, this will uh, like if you want to work this it will work but i'm not sure about the connectivity so there are two links one is android file host and one is google drive so guys after downloading the firmware as you can see you have to just copy it to your pc so guys as you can see over here i have downloaded the firmware on my pc or just copied it and now i have to extract here i also i have already done that and i have all the four files over here so basically you have to just find the ap and rename it delete the md5 over here. this will save you a bunch of time according to 10 to 15 minutes if your pc is slow so if it, it will only uh, like make it to a meta file or a tar file so it will not just calculate the whole md5 hash and it will save you a bunch of time locate your odin as i have it on my desktop just open the odin select all the respective files from my desktop new folder so as you can see i have copied whole of my galaxy s7 over here because it will just reset everything like delete everything in my data so everything has been added just go to the options it is all come back to the log basically turn on your galaxy s7 edge or the respective galaxy s7 you have power it off Okay, there it is and hold on your volume down uh, power button and the menu button at the same time or the home button and you will get this download mode just select volume up and now connect it to your pc just like that so after connecting your phone to the pc it will automatically add com 9 or the com uh, respective to your pc usb drivers and just hit the start and wait for it to flash the whole firmware on your galaxy s7 and just enjoy the nougat now i will give you a bit of the preview after installation of this so stick around and if you want the whole review of this nougat beta uh, firmware of the galaxy s7 please subscribe to your channel because i will be uploading that tomorrow as you can see the galaxy s7 is still finishing its firmware flash and it will be rebooting by itself after the Odin gives it the permission. So the firmware has been installed and I am not powered on the device so we will be doing it for the first time. I also not set it up so you will be seeing the setup. And the vibration was a bit weird like it has like now enabled another vibration motor cause it was like an iPhone's haptic feedback. It was not the usual one so that's uh, pretty new. Also, the boot animation not, ha not has been changed like the Note 7's white one, but it's a lot more crispier and the font is more much more bolder. And as you saw, the boot <laughs> time was very fast. It just right up jumped into the welcome screen, which is pretty good. So as you can see, it is a welcome screen and you do get the new the grace UX of the Note 7, not like the usual touch ways, which is good. As you can see, everything has been new and looks much more flush and uh, easy on the eyes which is good everything has been now just plain white agree to all so there was some of the issues in installing this rom and if you have like a older odin version 3.8 it would not work so i will be leaving a link in the description for the odin 3.12 and it will just work like a charm on this thing okay so here is the fingerprint so there is a new thing the required password and power on don't require but it still needs a pattern so i will be doing it right now okay so i just hold it my finger over here this is the ideal position i kept my fingerprint so it doesn't like fails as you can see just keep it don't try it <laughs> just do it like this on with your finger but that was pretty fast okay as you as it's shown over here don't just go crazy with your fingerprint scanner just hold it naturally and it will do just perfect 
it's a good thing that samsung just showed what i told you guys right now so into the samsung accounts it also has a new feature where you can enable biometrics so if you are ever installing an app through samsung galaxy apps it is not just uh, installed right away it will also require your fingerprint scanner which is a good thing it is now restoring my data now there is a samsung way i don't know whether the indian one will get it or not because this is i guess the vietnamese and both of my sims are working which is a good thing call back now dual sims on okay done there is the samsung pay cause in vietnam i guess samsung pay works checking availability okay there is your no get i'm not pretty sure that you can see or not but the major thing i have seen i guess you will get the stocks are not 7 once grace ux but here it is blue in color which is a bit of dull but if you expand it it's not like the grace ux it's a different no god style it's much like a no god but it's not like grace ux which is a bad thing and looks pretty ugly here is the menu here okay new features my galaxy app has a new icon everything is same camera okay the camera is bit uh, better and also the icons are not like the s7 one like the note 7 ones which is a weird thing but the gestures are same like the note 7 same as the grace ux like marshmallow software info there is it is no get wow we are finally experiencing the no get over here and it also has a option for marshmallow land and the android in storage which is a kind of odd, awkward thing i will just go it for the no get storage and again if i do it what would i get do i get the marshmallow no okay so it was like a one time thing but it was nice cause the no get storage great thing to do but as you can see it's 3 by 3 so you will need three pages in order to access all of the settings which is a bad thing here is the edge and it's much smoother than before the blur also the font is a bit better which is a good thing here is the phone app everything is now just white i kind of hate this scheme but it's easier on your eyes so that's a good thing i will not complain it with the samsung here is the launcher new icons not just like the grace x so guys thanks for watching this was a video on how to install android nougat on your galaxy s7 and s7 edge hope you guys enjoyed and if you want a full review of this nougat please stay tuned subscribe to the channel cause i will be doing a video on that tomorrow and peace